Hi friends, this is Rebecca here with our brand new moose calf. We're hanging out in the moose yard. As you can see, he is uh, learning his space pretty well. He loves to eat his brows. So we've got some willow here. He loves his cottonwood. I think elm is actually the favorite though. And he's very curious. So he's really checking out the camera right now. Uh, so this little guy is settling in nicely. He's starting to learn his routine. He's still getting bottles three times a day, but we love the fact that he's eating the brows because that is big boy food. You can see he's got this lovely little sand area here. Sand is definitely a favorite as well. This is a great spot for taking naps, watching the day go by and staying cool. And uh, those of you guys who remember Tahoma used to love to lay in this spot too. So this is a popular moose spot, uh, been approved by two of them. And then he's like starting to get these, sometimes these case of the zoomies. So uh, we'd heard about the zoomies, but we finally got to see them in true action. The other day, he actually was playing around with a sprinkler and then he was just running around. The good news is he's learned how to put on the brakes. So he's actually able to run around, but also like not plow into things and put on the brakes. So that's great. Um, the nice little shake you saw there, we actually have a mister set up for him to help him stay cool. And so when he gets wet, a lot of the time he'll do like the shake, shake, shake there. Now, popular questions we're getting about this guy. Uh, what about the ear tag? So you can see he's got that orange tag on his ear. We will take that off at some point here pretty soon. But here at Shine Mountain Zoo, we don't usually use tags like that. So we don't actually have the proper tool for it, but we're working, oh, there's the zoomies. Uh, we're working on getting the tool here so we can get that tag off, but he needed that to actually um, come here from Alaska. So uh, we will get that off of him soon. yard space here we've kind of corralled it off so he's kind of got his playpen as we like to call it um, so he's got a little bit of a smaller space to get used to and then eventually we'll give him more space but part of that also comes with access to the barn so he can go inside he can get out of the sun he's got a safe place to go hang out in uh, as you can see he decided to go ahead and take a little lie down in the barn as well actually all day today he has had access to the barn and the yard and he's chosen to be inside and outside and uh, this seemed to be kind of a favorite spot right now and the nice thing is is from our bridge over there folks are able to still get a glimpse of him so people always want to come up and see him we appreciate all the enthusiasm about this guy and so we're trying to make him comfortable and also give you a chance to see him and so this is a great kind of compromise if you will right now so a really popular question everybody wants to know what's his name so we don't have an official name yet. Uh, we we're, are going to actually put that up on our zoo ball, um, online zoo ball. So I think that's gonna start here pretty soon. So you can check that out. And basically somebody will be able to bid and win the opportunity to name this little, little chap. But for now, of course, we call him all sorts of things. Um, You've probably heard me say pumpkin a few times, but you know, the moose calf, the cutie, whatever, you know, we're terms of endearment work for him pretty well too. Now he is, like I say, getting the bottles, he's getting the brows. We are trying to get him adjusted to grain as well. And bananas is one of the great ways to do that. So we will put banana uh, mashed with his grain in there at night in the barn and he does nibble on that. And then behind him, you can see a wayboard with a little uh, 
rubber mat on it. And underneath that, we have a scale. So we are weighing him on a daily basis. And he's actually figured that piece out pretty great. So that's actually um, allowing us to make sure that he's getting enough of his bottle and that he's gaining weight and all is going well there. And he really just seems to enjoy watching the birds. So Eugene actually has joined us over here. Good old Eugene. Um, the birds have also taken to watching him, but I wouldn't say that they necessarily enjoy it. I think they got pretty used to having the yard to themselves. So it's kind of everybody's figuring each other out. So Eugene's actually gotten to be a pretty good roommate. So Zira and the little um, chick that we have in here, Turkey Chick Arthur. The other day though, we did have three peacocks in the yard and he came out of the barn and they just gave him an earful and it startled him enough that he ran back into the barn. A little bit later, um, here comes Zira now and our little chick Arthur. Those two were out and about and little Arthur was um, standing not too far from the fence and our little moose man thought, well, that's a turkey. Like that's a, that's a bird I can chase away. So he did go actually run at him a little bit in a playful sense. Uh, he didn't get Arthur, obviously this little guy's just fine. He was able to fly up into a tree, but uh, we're hoping that those two become good friends. But for right now, we're also kind of staking out our spaces. So um, we'll, we'll see how all that goes. As far as our other questions that we get about this little guy, uh, Folks want to know like how old he is. He is almost nine weeks old. He did come to us from Alaska. He was a wild born moose and unfortunately lost his mom at about four to six days old and due to a human wildlife conflict. And he's been at the Alaska Zoo for uh, quite a while, but then just came to us on Wednesday morning. So everybody's getting to know each other. And it's been a really wonderful experience getting to know this guy. We know that you all are looking forward to seeing more of him. He's got a lot of growing to do. When we weighed him this morning, he was at about 115 pounds. So uh, he's growing, but he's got a lot of growing to do. So you all get to enjoy it with us. So we will keep you updated on all things moose as uh, we have fun things to update you guys on. But for now, he's settling in. We're all settling in. We can finally get some sleep <laughs> and um, yeah, stay tuned. So thanks guys. We'll see you next time.